Well, well, well. Welcome back to the fans of Privateer FX. Dollar higher today uh, <coughs> in Europe. Uh, the breakdown in uh, Euro dollar happened to be 120.54. So it was a bit of uh, hard yards there between 57 and 67. And cable went after PMI. 03 traded back to 19, then back down through the figure to a low of 67. We're at 90 now, as you can see on this cable chart. Um, if you're short, still uh, easy stop. Just chuck it at 14 or or or, or break even, because this technically could have some more room to run. We are not short anymore. I don't really believe in this break. Uh, in my heart of hearts, I believe it's going to be a trap. Uh, it's just too obvious of a level. Uh, and everyone who's saying that uh, this is now going to go 600 points because of the neckline, double top, yaddy, 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 um, I'm not on board with that. So do what you need to do. Probably the professional stop is... Um, 137.20 and you look for at least a move down to this 136.20 and then you reassess. We close down there, it looks bearish, if we have a long tail, etc, etc. Anyway, um, let's go DXY. Kind of a breakout move here. The 200 day came in right at 92 the figure. We're up a half a percent about, but it's it's significant that we're above this 92 area. The next resistance is until 92.60, but a close above 92 going into FOMC and going into non-farms at the end of the week. One could argue that um, you want to get on board with this dollar buying. But we'll have to see on how things close today and also get ready for ISM manufacturing out of the states, also CAD GDP out of the states. So let's see what's going on further. Um, like I said, if you're short cable, just down another 10 ticks there. Um, this has room to go to 136.19. This will be a buy for us today between 19 and the figure uh, in New York time. It's interesting to note that the... Uh, 200 day in euro is 120.10. We suspect because it'll be stretched by the time it gets down there, well, stretched as in down 0.6 after a fair few serious down days, uh, this will hold first time 120.11. So you might want to dip your toes in 120.11. And you have this sort of confluence of big round numbers. You have euro going into 120, you have dollar Swiss going into 1. Um, each after a pretty extended bullish dollar movement. Let's not forget you have dollar yen going into 110. So we do expect some congestion around these big numbers. So you have 120 in euro, 110 in dollars, and 1 in dollar Swiss. So be careful. We look, we look, we're looking to fade this first time in New York and then see how we look. Let's go to equities real quick. Not too much happening. We're just 26.43 given. This uh, chart is 20 minutes delayed, but the real price, 43 given. Um, obviously, it hasn't done too much, but has come down 10 handles from the open. So we, we were at the open at the high in London. Now we're sort of off 10 handles. This does look like we are going to attack this 26.13 this week. I, I know we said that last week, and we did kind of attack it. Got down to 13 and then had a big rip roar higher, but now we're on a series of lower highs. If you look at this, we had the high up here, and then we have this high, and then we have this high, sort of rounding down, rounding down. I'm telling you, once this thing breaks to 200 and closes below it, important for the privateer group this is important 
So even though we're 30 handles, we're 1% away. Keep an eye on it. And then, but recognize what can happen here. If we're near this 200 day and tomorrow they're hawkish, if there's more uh, bullshit from the Middle East, if there's uh, any kind of, uh, if Apple fails to uh, meet expectations on earnings or big earnings miss, uh, and if oil, which we're waiting to sell, but if it gets back down there now, it's pretty bearish. If, it, if oil gets back down to this 67.10, this will also be negative for the stock market as well. The entire energy complex will get smashed. So if you're using your imagination and forward thinking a little bit, we have some scenarios in our minds ready for this. And we'll just have to see what comes. And, you know, what we're basically doing is we're saying, if two of these three or three of these four things are happening at the same time, then we plunge with vigor. And if it's kind of just one of the four, you know, you, you, you position accordingly. Anyway, I don't have to tell a lot of you that. I know most of you know what the hell you're doing. So um, I'll go back to the charts. Aussie, Kiwi, and CAD. Continuation, or less CAD. CAD's a little bit confused, but Aussie and Kiwi have continued lower. Kiwi down to 70.12. Of course, it's worth noting that big round number again, 70 in Kiwi. We might uh, try and exercise some uh, longs down towards the figure here. Um, Aussie the same. If you think 75 is a big round number, which it kind of is, um, there's going to be support here because the prior low also was 7501 from uh, from last December. So there's all kinds of reasons to fade this uh, fade this dollar move. I kind of want to pick your poison. These commodity currencies are the closest um, to these levels. Euro's still. Uh, 30 points away from the figure. Dollar yen is 35 points away from the figure. Uh, and dollar Swiss is the furthest, 70 points away. So pick your poison. We will be fading the dollar into these big round numbers today. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Plus, we have our eye on stocks. And we have our eye on crude oil. Still a buck away. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.